Today here on rumblestrip.net and 10 minute test drive, it's a bit of a follow up. Now if you follow us over on Hooniverse for the articles we write over there, you'll know that back in June, we went down to uh, Atlanta to drive some of the Omics ADA vehicles. Well, they shipped one of those back up here to Detroit and we're out at an off-road park around Flint, Michigan, driving one and it's a natural environment. Is it good? Is it fun? How is it to live with on a day-to-day -day basis? That's what we find out here today on rumblestrip.net and 10 minute test drive. So when we went down to Georgia to drive uh, these Amex 88 Jeeps, the Rugged Ridge Jeeps, we got to drive them on a trail uh, that we didn't, it wasn't the trail that they had planned on, but because of weather and rain and things like that, it wasn't possible. That's fine. Well, we've had the opportunity here for about the last week to drive this, uh, one of the Jeeps that we had down there, to see how it is to live with day to day. And we're driving in an off-road park here, so it might be a little stop and go with some of our commentary, which is fine. Um, we've had fun with it here today at this off-road park. Got properly stuck once. Here's the picture. Planning my route here. And, uh, you know, driving it through some rock, rock washes and just some general whoop-de-whoop -whoop sections. And, you know, in this environment, you know, 15, 20 miles an hour, this thing's a ton of fun. It is. Um, you know, it's not our usual uh, thing that we do. We usually like going fast around a racetrack and whipping it up that way. And driving slow, it's harder than you think. You just want to put your foot down half the time. But the key to doing things here is to go slow. And for those of you experienced off-roaders who may find your way to this video, feel free to laugh and what a crappy job I'm doing navigating here and over the rocks and stuff you'll see in B-roll. But hey, I'm new to this stuff, relative, you know, relatively speaking. I've done a little off-road driving, but not much. But it's something different, right? It's fun. And as we said, in this environment, it's really good. You know, Rugged Ridge through the, pretty much their entire catalog at this thing. Uh, whatever they, well, not entire catalog, but close enough as makes no difference, right? And in this environment with the, you know, big tires and lift kit and all that, you know, it's great. But trying to drive this thing day to day, maybe not so much, to be honest with you. Um, sorry, just trying to pick a lane here. Getting in and out of it, bit of a pain with, uh, with as much lift as this thing has in it. You really do have to pull yourself up uh, into the vehicle and with the soft top you get to about 40 maybe 50 miles an hour and it's okay after that with the soft top there's so much wind noise it's really loud to the point of like you almost can't hear the radio if you're trying to play the radio and on the highway you're driving 70 up to about 75 miles an hour. I mean, you're okay, it's not horrible. And uh, let's make sure I haven't got myself in a pickle here. You know, up to 70, 75 miles an hour, it's okay. But you sort of run out of that because of the tall tires and the gearing, you're in a real funny spot. You're cruising on the highway, you're doing, oh, 2,500 RPM at that point. Not too bad. But you try to go much faster, and you know aerodynamic drag and everything else getting in your way it drops out of overdrive into third gear at which point you're turning about near 4,000 rpm this thing already gets really bad mileage as it is uh 12 ish maybe you know 
uh, you, you start driving in third gear at those kind of speeds, you see tens and almost into single digits. So it's a thing. You get, again, it goes back to the whole thing. Uh, learn to drive, learn to like driving slowly because you're not going to make a lot of progress at great speeds in this thing. So driving slow, I mean, you got to be comfortable just only going 70, 75 on the highway and getting really bad mileage in this thing. And given how everything is in here, it's not the easiest thing to get stuff in and out of the back. So on a day-to-day -day basis, there's a lot of compromises to living with this thing. But if it's a weekend vehicle, occasional vehicle, hey, it's fun. Like I said, this was something that they built and took to SEMA to show off all the parts they had. And you know what? It's cool. In its own right, it's cool. It may not be everyone's bag and that's fine that's the great thing about cars and vehicles not everything has to be for everybody right we can have niches and everyone can enjoy their niches so in the end was this fun was this good absolutely was it worthwhile having for a week you bet would i want to be driving this thing all the time or own it no, it's like vacation to some exotic place. Do you necessarily want to live there all the time? No. Are you glad you went and had the experience? Absolutely. And that's what this is. This was a... Jesus. Okay, like I said, drive slow. Uh, this was a fun experience. And I'm glad I did it. I'd do it again. But not on a day-to-day -day basis.